This is the 2nd of November, 2014. This is Peregrine Service Dog Prospect for Tanda Hagen. And we're working on clicker training. So right now the dog is just learning to associate the sound of the clicker with a positive experience, and in this case a treat. So it, later in its training, when it's going to be trained how to do both tasks and work, working in a wheelchair, working on the ground, it's pretty amazing what you can teach a dog once it is habituated to the clicker and the clicker makes a connection with a positive behavior. It's nice he's not um, scared of the noise. Yeah which some dogs can be, and that can make clicker training difficult. Yep. It's also nice because he likes treats. Yep. What can you do with clicker training if your dog's not food motivated? Um, there are ways to make them food motivated by using the clicker. Not make them like in a bad way, but make them in a good way. Um, that takes a lot of work. I'm just really lucky that I have a puppy that isn't afraid of the sound, and likes treats. Now you used to do a different training technique um, that wasn't as purely focused on positive uh, reinforcement. Why have you gone to a clicker training in purely positive reinforcement? I don't believe in doing anything negative or painful or confusing to a dog anymore. I, I didn't know about clicker training back then, so I didn't know any other way. Um, but once I learned about clicker training and realized it's totally positive, it's amazing the things that you can teach a dog to do with a clicker that you can't teach a dog to do with any other method. And um, and they just learn to love you, and it turns their little brains on. It's amazing when they finally get it all figured out and, um, and makes them smarter. How often are you going to do this? Um, how long is the session, and how many times per day? For a puppy this young, we're, we're actually done. Um, for a puppy this young, I just do these short little sessions, just like a few minutes. And um, I do it three or four times a day until he figures out what the click means. And how would you know that? How would you know when he's ready to move on? When he knows what the click means, what will happen is I'll wait till he looks away from me, and then I'll click. And if he whips his head back around and looks for that treat, then I know. Okay. Then I know he's, he's got it. Thank you, Chanda. We'll see you in a little bit. Okay.